you for letting me present. So I'm Michael Cohn, I'm CEO of Tilla Care, and I want to talk to you about severe urinary incontinence. It's affecting millions of people globally, and it's a market worth about $20 billion uh, in, in the world. However, severe urinary incontinence is five to six times more common in women than in men. With almost 20 million women in the US and growing, uh, it's a, 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 glo a really big problem. For the women, there is no solution. For men, there is a specific solution uh, apart from the traditional diapers with all its problems with sustainability and wounds and the traditional uh, invasive catheters causing infections. We at Tilacare has changed that. We created the female condom catheter. It's a sustainable solution designed specifically for women. It's changed once daily, it's soft, and it's made out of silicone. We found that the smooth surface of the silicone fits and creates an adhesion around the urethra of the female, in the female anatomy and seals from the environment. You can think about two smooth surfaces of glass with some liquid in between. You can move them sideways, but you cannot separate them. We can just peel the soft silicone out of there without hurting uh, the patient. It's also because it insulates from the surrounding. It's also uniquely suited to take a um, non-contaminated urine sample from women, which is a huge problem for incontinent women to really get a non-contaminated sample. The Uricap was introduced in the US market 2022, and we have regular sales expecting this year to run $160,000 with our first and second distrib distributors. Our team reached a lot of milestones, even there was COVID. We have re regulatory approvals in the, e in the FDA, CE, Brazil, Australia, and in the UK. US and EU patents are in place and some other places too. And we are the only reimbursed external urinary catheter in the US with Medicare reimbursement at $12, $12 a day. And it's changed daily, the devices change daily. We also, from February, have reimbursement in the UK through NHS, and the distributor there is already started to market. Manufacturing is in place with a very attractive gross margin, and <clears throat> we already started enrolling other distributors in Australia and more distributors in the US, targeting the large home market in the US, and in other markets it might be home and hospital markets. Our key drivers are of course, that we're the only reimbursed external female catheter in the market. And we're also helping the distributors to reach into the female, female sector because they're only selling to men today, so they can increase their business. So it's a very inter interesting business proposition for them. We are looking for a Series A investment. Uh, we hope to reach uh, cash flow um, 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 be cash flow positive by, by next year. And we, with the revenue stream model after our uh, adoption of our first distributors, we think we can have a $12 million revenue stream uh, 2026 with about just 16,000 patients, very few patients on the multi-million dollar um, uh, patient market. And I think that is a very attractive proposition to the investors. Thank you. Thank you.